All right, hey guys. This is September 16th, I have to remember the date. Fam Fam team call. Um, all right, so tonight we're gonna talk a lot about Beachbody products, and we're gonna do a bit of an overview on the different most popular products. Um, I'm gonna give you guys some highlights on what exactly they are, what is in them, and why they are good for you. Because a lot of the time it takes a little bit to kind of build up your knowledge of all of these products. And I definitely feel like not knowing sometimes can be the roadblock in having a conversation or asking more questions. So I will say that I don't think you need to know all of this information off the back of your hand. I definitely don't know all of this memorized, um, but I use these tools as ways to share the information with anyone who is asking. So I have a lot of images that I'm gonna share with you guys and go through everything. We will ask questions as you have them as we're going through. Um, and then I will make sure that I have all these images up in the album section of the Fam Jam team page. So you guys can actually pull these and use them if you ever need them for referencing. I would suggest you save them to your phone somewhere or save them in a folder in your drive. Um, and you can actually physically send these to anyone who's interested as well. So before we do that, um, does anyone have any recognition that they want to share with the team? No, are we good? Okay. Um, all right, I'm gonna share my screen here and then we'll get started. Just let me know if you guys can see this. Do you guys see that? Yep. Okay. All right, so um, if you guys have questions, just unmute yourself throughout any part of this, um, and we'll just kind of stop as we go along. But basically, I'm going to do a quick overview of the most popular products. So I want to talk about Shakeology. Um, Shakeology is definitely one of the products that I feel like a lot of people shy away from because we don't fully understand what Shakeology is. And a lot of the time we feel like Shakeology is just another protein. So I'm going to go over a few reasons why it's not just another protein, um, but kind of diving into a few of the quick questions that we get from clients when they first start with Shakeology is the containers. What container is it? What does it count as? One scoop is one red container. So always good to know. Um, the next question I get asked all the time is what are the ingredients on, hey, you jumping in. Um, what are the ingredients for Shakeology? Every different flavor actually has a bit of a different ingredient list. So this is why you don't see this one big, this is what's in Shakeology. Um, every single flavor actually has a little bit of different ingredients into it. So what you can do to grab that list is you can go into your coach office and in the, um, in the search bar, you can search whatever flavor of Shakeology it is you're looking for. And then from there, you can grab the ingredient list. I'm going to go through a little bit more about what exactly is included in a little bit, but just know that each one is actually made just a little bit different. Um, the next question that we get all the time is, is this a meal replacement? So is it a meal or is it a snack? This is actually considered to be a snack when it's Shakeology on its own because it's only, depending again on the flavor and whether it is vegan or whey, it's only 130 to 170 calories. So it definitely classifies as a snack. It's actually not enough calories for a meal. Um, but when you add stuff to it, that could become a meal depending on how much you're adding into it um, and how much that increases the pork intake. Um, that you're getting with your shake. So I always recommend that people have their shake with food. Always recommend. Um, does it include any artificial preservatives? I get asked that a, quite a bit. Um, no, it does not. The next thing that we definitely find when clients start with Shakeology is that bloating and gas may be experienced. Um, so what do you do? For sure, this is gonna happen because there's so much additional fiber. In Shakeology and most people are lacking a lot of fiber in their diet um, so a lot of the time I will give people the heads up 
And some people don't notice any differences at all, but what you can have them do is actually start with a half a scoop. And then over the course of two weeks, they can gradually kind of introduce half a scoop into their system and then build up to a full scoop. So if anyone's experienced any issues when they first start Shakeology, completely normal. It's likely due to the fiber. If it continues or there, you know, any symptoms kind of persist, then talk to the doctor, of course. Um, but just kind of warning people about that, that that fiber intake can definitely um, increase bloating and gas, which is not always comfortable. So this here is actually, these are going to be images that I'm going to share with you guys that you can pull from FamJam and you can use these and share them with anyone that is interested um, or you can use them just for yourself as a really great reference point. So this talks about what exactly Shakeology is. Um, it talks about if, what it's available in. It's available in a vegan and also a whey option. It is non-GMO. The flavors are listed out here as well. It's technically five flavors because there's chocolate, vanilla, tropical strawberry, cafe latte, and then just plain strawberry in the whey. Um, and then the cafe latte, vanilla, and chocolate are available in both whey and vegan options. Um, this I have all the ingredients in Shakeology. If you have done the training on the Fam Jam Academy website, you've watched the video um, with Isabel Deichler, and she actually talks about how all the ingredients are globally sourced. So they actually have gone into communities and they have set up um, farms and created jobs and communities where they're actually farming a lot of the ingredients that they're using in the actual locations that are best to grow the ingredients that they're looking for. Um, I always reference Shakeology for me anyways, as that it helps me to reduce a lot of my junk food cravings. Yeah. I'm like a chocolate junkie. And for me, the chocolate really does help me with that. Um, it definitely helps with losing weight. Yeah. Again, not a complete meal replacement. Um, but it does help with weight loss because it's helping your digestive system. Um, it's helping to provide a lot of energy and again, just supporting with your digestion and regularity for sure. Um, so this one here, the biggest thing is that what kind of differentiates Shakeology from your typical protein blend is how they formulate it. And at the bottom, you'll see there's five different formulas and this is included in every single flavor of Shakeology. Um, typically, I mean, you can find different blends of proteins at a, a multitude of different stores. But to find something that kind of has all of these formulas in one, I would say is very difficult, if not impossible to find. Um, so first is that it, it does have the protein. It's a super protein blend. This is helping you build lean muscle. It's improving your skin and your hair. It's helping with mental clarity. And like I mentioned before, reducing your cravings. Now what is kind of added into it and the formula number two is the antioxidant blend. This is for anti-aging. It helps with cell regeneration. Um, and this is heart health properties as well into all of the anti antioxidants that they have into Shakeology. The third formula is phytonutrient blend. And this is really just thinking about super greens. If you are having a hard time getting veggies in, if you're having a hard time getting greens in, um, this, the super green really just helps with overall health. Think like immunity, immune system. The formula number four is your adaptogen blend. And this for sure is helping <clears throat> reduce the effects that stress has on your body. So drinking Shakeology every day helps to fight off the effects that stress really has on our bodies. Um, the fifth formula is your prebiotics, probiotics, and your digestive enzymes. And of course, those are just helping with the um, digestive tract and having healthy digestion. So those are the kind of the five formulas. Again, I will share this so you guys have this image and you can use this um, <coughs> as a reference. But Understanding that Shakeology is more than just the protein. It is way more than a protein blend. There's so many other benefits that we can speak to as well when we are like think of pulling these five benefits of Shakeology. You can pull those into five posts. Or you can talk about those on your stories when you are actually sharing 
that you're drinking your shake or that you're having a shake today is more than just a shake. Um, it has all of these awesome benefits to it as well. Performance line. Just go one thing about Sorry. the Shakeology before, because I know uh, some of our coaches have asked in the past, sometimes you get people asking for the, the nutritional breakdown of what's actually in Shakeology. Nice. Did you go over it already? <laughs> oh, okay. Disregard. I missed it. We're busy putting our kids to bed. <laughs> Which I appreciate. Thanks, Joe. Um, okay, so, so it's good. <laughs> Beach body performance line. This one here, for sure, um, I feel like sometimes performance line really for women, immediately they're like, no, I, I don't need the performance line. I'm not an athlete. I am not a pro. I'm not looking to build and get really bulky. I don't need the performance line. I'm going to break it down for you and reasons why you do need the performance line and how it can really help you regardless of what level you're kind of at. This isn't just for athletes. While it is designed for a lot of athletes, um, it's not just for athletes. So the performance line, I'm gonna talk about three products that they have. It's Energize, Recover, and Hydrate. So this has actually been developed by like Harvard scientists. Um, the formulas that they have in here, it is sponsored Iron Man. for Iron Man. Like, great name to this so be confident in that pro athletes do use this um the energized formula we all talk about it in the morning we all talk about having it um we show stories on it which is really great oftentimes we like turn it away from the camera so people don't know exactly what it is um but really really go into the fact that energize is for that boost of energy and endurance but more than that, it actually improves your performance during your workouts. So it helps with muscle fatigue so that you, you can actually get through a longer workout. Um, it helps with sharpening your focus, your reaction time. So in some of those, some of those quicker cardio workouts, more meltdown, shift shop, like all of it definitely helps with what you're actually doing in your workout. So not just getting you to work out, but what's happening within your workout. So it is, um, you'll see over on the right-hand side there, it's key ingredients. Um, beta alanine is what really kind of helps the buildup of lactic acid in your muscles. And that's what's going to help you with your muscle fatigue and help you to get a better workout in. It does have a low-dose caffeine. Um, it's about the equivalent of a cup of coffee, but it's actually from green tea extract. So this is what's going to help with your mental and your physical boost. Um, so those, like, those are the key things that I really talk about energized. And I think sometimes we miss the point of how effective it can be during a workout and not necessarily just at the beginning of your workout just to kind of like wake you up and give you that energy. Hydrate. Hydrate is one that I think gets overlooked often. And I love hydrate like so much. So hydrate is actually, um, something that you can have during your workout. And I mean, even if you're going for a long run, or you're doing something outside of Beachbody, Hydrate is one of those products that literally you can sell to anybody. Um, this one is full of electrolytes. It helps to replace electrolytes lost during your exercise, um, and it improves your endurance. We actually have, um, a, we have Hydrate for our son during his football practice, and we've replaced Gatorade with Hydrate because of the low sugar that is actually in hydrate. Um, and the high so many times, in Gatorade. So many times I see so many athletes coming with two, three bottles of Gatorade, and it's actually doing the opposite effect because Gatorade is so high in their sugar content that the sugar actually starts to dehydrate you when you have too much of it. So it has the opposite effect if you're not balancing it out with enough water, whereas hydrate doesn't have the high sugar content. Um, so that's not as big of a concern. So hydrate is definitely something that I use for sports teams. Um, we kind of go outside of just having the challenge packs with the hydrate. This is a product that you can offer to someone, maybe if they're not even interested in a challenge pack yet. Um, I, Tara actually just did that the other day. Um, your recover. So recover is 
this is kind of where some people get confused about, okay, well, do we go with Recover? Do we go with Shakeology? They're both protein. So what's the difference? Um, Shakeology, like we had kind of explained, it has so much more in it than just protein. Whereas the Recover, which is actually available in chocolate or orange, um, and it is now available in a whey and a vegan option. So there are two options for the Recover now. Um, Recover is more for your muscle recovery and it has like, a, it has a slow release protein in it. So this is 20 grams of protein. It has, is it three? It's three times proteins, like yeah. a fast and intermediate and a slow release protein. Um, that are going to help you with your muscle recovery and just promote that muscle growth. Not necessarily bulk, um, but muscle growth is always good regardless of being male or female. Um, there's a lot more to it if girls are worried about getting too bulky. I have recover all the time. Um, and it's not a concern of getting bulky because I'm just not, I'm not doing all the other things that I need to do or I don't have the testosterone levels. To actually bulk up in that way. So if that's ever a concern, um, I just always like to kind of point that out that it it shouldn't be a huge concern for females. Anything else on recover? No. I think that's good. Um, so again, this image will be saved for you guys so you can use it and send it out to anyone that has questions. Beach Body on Demand. We all know Beach Body on Demand. Um, but I really like this one because again, you can use this image to send out to people. We refer this to like Netflix of Fitness. Um, what I really want to encourage everyone though is Beach Body on Demand. Oftentimes we start with a program and we get really comfortable with that program. Or there's so many launches of other programs that we just go from one to the next, which is great. But really get in and try and check out some of the other programs that are in there. If you haven't tried other programs, you've only tried two or three, go in and just look at what is there. Because there's probably, if someone says, no, you know, I'm just, I'm not ready because I'm, I'm pregnant. Okay, well, we have pre and postnatal yoga. Like, do you, do you want to have this on your journey? Perfect. Oftentimes it's just knowing what's there based on what people are telling you that they're into so that you can have a suggestion for them. Because sometimes the program we're launching isn't necessarily right for the person and where they're at on their journey. So get really dive into Beachbody On Demand. Um, know that they can stream it from beachbodyondemand.com. Um, you can stream it using an Apple TV, a Roku, Amazon Fire Stick, Chromecast, um, or you can actually use it from like an Apple Watch as well. And it actually, which I don't have an Apple Watch, but apparently, it tells you your heart rate and your caloric burn and everything right on the screen as well. So you can totally connect all of that together. Um, really highlighting, and this is one thing that we love highlighting, is that with your Beachbody On Demand subscri subscription, you actually get access to the Fix 8 cooking show. It's incredible. If you haven't gone into the nutrition tab and checked out Fix 8, it is literally, it's in, like, yeah, it's I cool. love it. I pull from that. Every single week, I pull recipes from that. It's helpful because it's a video and they also have the recipe listed and the instructions to go with it. So if they can't watch the video, they can get the instructions. I actually love watching the video because I'll pull all the ingredients and then I just make it with them as they're doing it on the video. I am not a cook, so I love that I have someone giving me the instructions on how to actually do that. Um, what else do we need to know? Oh, the other really good thing to know about Beachbody On Demand is that if you're traveling or if you know you're going to be somewhere where you don't have Wi-Fi, you can actually download all of your workouts before you go anywhere. So I give this option a lot to anyone who's traveling, any of our clients that are traveling, just to let them know that while you're away, a lot of people want to stay on with their program. They can just download them right to their tablet or their smartphone. All right, Beach Bars. Um, my children are addicted to beach bars and I have to physically hide them from them. Um, I do allow them to have them and we use them often for a snack. This is also something that we have had a lot of people buy just for an office. They put in their office snack room. Um, they have it for their kids. They have it for them. They like, this is something again, that does not have to be a part of a challenge path. This can be something that is solving a solution for someone if they're a habitual snacker. So again, asking those questions when you're talking to people 
if you're finding out that they're having an emotional eating problem or they're a habitual snacker, this could be something that is really good for them as a go-to. They do contain nuts. Both do contain nuts. Um, I believe they're coming out with one that does not contain nuts, which would be beautiful. Um, but knowing that there's 10 grams of protein in them, there's only five to six grams of sugar. That is the biggest thing for me when I'm looking at a protein bar. If you look at the back of the majority of protein bars, you'll see the sugar content can be nine grams or above. So the fact that the sugar content is really low on these can make for a really great treat when you're still following a nutrition plan. Um, no trans fat, 150 calories, no artificial anything in there, and they're gluten-free. So you have peanut butter chocolate and the chocolate cherry almond. We kind of go back and forth back and forth yeah, between both of them, but the yeah. kids love the peanut butter ones. Um, I think that like that's basically the most you need to know about those. But again, just having that sugar content really low, you're not going to have that spike in sugar. You're not going to have that sugar crash at the end of the day. If anyone is needing something that has less than seven grams of sugar, that's really my biggest selling feature on the um, bars. <laughs> Over on the right-hand side, you'll see that they have included um, this clean meat and a Shakeology sampler. This is something that it's just seven days of nutrition, nutrition and fitness. So if people are trying to just get into it, this is something that is a really great kickstart for people. Um, you get four free workouts with it, 30 minutes each, um, and then seven days of Shakeology. It also comes with a full meal plan for the week. So this is something that is just, it's a simple step. It's not too overwhelming. So if someone's just looking to like just kickstart, um, Clean Week is something that you can always dive into. Three-day refresh. I am going to be completely honest with you. I do not enjoy the three-day refresh, um, but it is a really, really great product. I have to say, we have had great results with yeah, it. Yeah, I don't enjoy it, but I get amazing results with it. Yes, we have great results with it. Um, but it is just for me, not something that I completely love. However, if you are transitioning someone who is not working out at all, who is not eating anything like remotely healthy at all, the refresh can be something that is a really great start for them. If they're buying a challenge pack, they actually get a discount on this as well. So when you add it into their share cart, they get a really great price on the three-day refresh. Um, this one here, it is all plant-based. It is technically like a detox or a cleanse, but you do get to eat food on it. So we are likely gonna do a three-day refresh in a week. Um, so we'll do more information on what the three-day refresh is, and we'll do like a little small support group for people in the three-day refresh. Um, but this one is really just like, let's fast track those results. Let's get you kickstarted on your journey. Let's like rid your body of all the things that it's kind of holding on to um, and get you feeling good and starting from a clean slate. This one is you have a vanilla fresh, you have a fiber sweet, and you drink a Shakeology. Those are the three things that you have within your kit. And it comes with a menu as well so that you pick from the menu, which is fruits and veggies and some healthy fats that you can have throughout the day. So this one comes with complete program guide. It walks them like right through exactly how to do the three-day refresh. And we have tons of material on this as well. If anyone ever has someone that's doing the three-day refresh, we can um, help you with that. Sorry, I'm just going to check the chat. I haven't seen it here. It's blowing up with the three-day refresh, I feel like. <laughs> it works with not fun. What's so bad about it? Um, Tara likes it. Okay. So in terms of like, what's so bad about it, the fiber sweep is not my favorite. I'm just going to throw it out there. The vanilla fresh isn't terrible. I don't mind the vanilla fresh. Yeah. It's not terrible. Again, it's just like a powder that you mix. Um, the fiber sweep is like, just, just drink, just go cold water, mix it up, drink it fast. Um, but I can't say that I actually love it. Tara, have you done it? Tara, you haven't done it? Makes you feel, it does make you feel amazing. Um, I definitely feel like it cuts my sugar cravings. Um, and again, like we've done this before trips, we've done this before starting a new program. We're going to do it before starting the work. Um, it definitely like kills the bloat. Yeah. Gone. <clears throat> bloat is like 
do you bloat up? No, I don't. Um, everyone reacts differently. Do you need to be close to a washroom? No, this isn't the type of cleanse You'll that is pee like, a lot. yes, you pee a lot. But this is not the type of cleanse. I feel like as soon as people hear the word cleanse, they're like, I can't go anywhere for three days. I'm not doing this. Not that type of cleanse. Um, I have to say, I haven't. <laughs> there you go. Trish said it right. You pee a lot and your farts smell. <laughs> it's all the fiber. But honestly, like it's not something that you need to be super close to a bathroom for. Um, it really just is allowing your body to kind of have that reset. And I find that it gets rid of the bloat for me. So, yes, we are going to be completely honest with this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop the chat. I will check it again in a minute. Do you guys have any more questions on three-day refresh, though, before I move on? For the trip. Yeah, like, I would do this before you're going on a trip. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't take it with you on a trip. I do find doing this on the weekends is the probably the, the hardest, hardest for yeah. me because we're more active on the weekends. So I like to do it like a Monday to Wednesday type of thing because I find when I'm busy during the day, I don't, I don't miss food. And you're not, right? you're like not you're socializing not, as much yeah. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. because yeah. three days. <laughs> so for us, we have always done it during the week and we've, I've, that's kind of been our pattern. Yeah, that's that's how I like doing it. I would recommend that if you are giving this, if you have anyone starting with the three day refresh, minimal, physical activity on this. Like yoga is a really great pairing if they want to do something, but either no workouts at all or very minimal. So just like a really great stretch or a, an easy yoga would be what I would recommend for this. Yeah. All right. Okay. We're going to move on. Maybe. Maybe. Just kidding. There we go. Um, okay. So those are there's a slide missing. Yeah, you went, it went to, I think. There you go. I'm like, I didn't talk about the boost. Okay, Shakeology Boost. So these are three products that you can buy and add to your shake, um, to your Shakeology. These are all three, we've used all three of them. Um, so I'm gonna talk about each one individually and kind of the benefits that each of them have and why they're really good as an add-on in the share cart. So you can add these on in the share cart and say, hey, I know you're really, you know, you're, you're struggling with energy. I feel like this would really help you. And you can add it into the share cart. They can remove it if they don't want to get it. If they struggle with veggies, anything like that. So I'm going to break it down. Um, focused energy is one that um, is really good if you are having a hard time with obviously focusing, um, but if you're having a hard time with your energy levels, the, ener the focused energy is really good to add into your shake. Um, it kind of replaces, it gives you like that mental clarity, but it kind of replaces like your coffee. So why people would reach for a coffee because they need to like wake up and they need to like focus. This is where I would use the focused energy for them. If they're constantly reaching for that like afternoon coffee, then this could be something that you could replace instead of. Um, so this is always something that's great to talk about if people don't want to have a high dose of, of caffeine after noon or after two o'clock, you can really kind of turn them into the focused energy and talk about that for them so that they can, they can still get that mental clarity without the high amount of caffeine that they're going to have in a cup of coffee. Um, again, this one also has um, a lot of adaptogens in it, and that's really going to help with your stress, the effects that stress has on your body. So focus energy, simple, quick, um, power greens, power greens is if anyone is struggling with getting their veggies in, like me. <laughs> this is a beautiful, um, boost that you can add into your shake. So one scoop of the power greens is equivalent to two thirds, a cup of leafy greens, a third cup of cucumber and a third cup of celery stalk. This is really, really good because it helps to um, level out your body's acidic levels. So again, this one's gonna help you to feel really full. It's gonna get you all those veggies in so if people aren't eating all their green containers, this is definitely the one that you wanna add for them. Or if they just say, I don't like veggies, this is something that you can definitely talk to them about. Digestive Health Blend. 
Um, this one is really good if people are having a hard time with the amount of fiber they have in their diet. So if they're finding that they're having a lot of digestive issues, if they're irregular, um, then this is something that they can have. Again, these boots are really something that you don't need all the time, but maybe they're going through a season. Maybe there's something that's changed a little bit with their health and just kind of checking in with your clients and seeing where they're at. You can suggest one of these along the journey, or you can suggest them right from the get-go. And maybe they might need the focused energy right away. And then maybe in two months, they can look at using the Power Greens. Um, Power Greens is actually what comes in the Derico pack with the Morning Meltdown 100 packages. She loves the Power Greens. Um, so that's one of the boosts that she, she goes through all the time. Anything else on this? No, I love the Digestive Health. It's awesome. Yeah, you use the Digestive yeah. Health all the time. Fortune picks. So we have the two nutrition plans and I'm just going to do this like super quick, but I think sometimes we get confused on who needs what nutrition plan. And you'll see in the middle there, there's kind of, there's portion fix meal planning and then to be mindset meal planning and what the differences are. So the portion fix is the container system. The container system is what comes with any of the challenge packs. If there's a nutrition guide that goes along with it, it is the container system. This is not a system that works for absolutely everybody. Um, and it is very basic when the container system comes with a challenge pack, it is basic. If we wanna do a deeper dive into how to use the containers, why we're using the containers, this is where I would suggest the ultimate portion fix. It is going to be both the ultimate portion fix and the TV mindset or a e, like a video learning series where people can go in and they watch a series of videos and they start to understand how food is affecting their body and really what their habitual patterns are and how to break them. So the videos are really great. It takes a lot of work off of you as a coach because they are learning directly from either Autumn or Alana. So the portion fix is external. If, they, if someone struggles with overeating, Sometimes they need that restriction. They need that control of knowing, okay, I can have four proteins today. I can have six of my greens today. I can like, they need to know exactly what they need to have and they can build a meal really, really easily. This one is um, macro based is the word I'm looking for. So this meal plan is, if you've heard of like a macro based meal plan, this is the portion fix. It's how it's built together. There's different options in terms of people can kind of create their own meal plan with it, or you can do a timed nutrition, which is a little more specific on what containers you actually have per meal. This one here is, again, not for everybody, but it is a really, really great base for anyone that is starting to learn about nutrition. The containers don't actually come with any of the challenge packs anymore. They used to come with the challenge packs, but they don't anymore. But again, this is an add-on that you can add to any challenge pack. So if anyone's going to go with the any basic challenge pack, they're going to start with the basic meal plan of using the container system. It's always a great option to just say, hey, I would add, I would recommend that you add in these containers with your order. And then I think they're like $11 Canadian, yeah. $9 American. Um, you can add them into your order, into their cart and then they're set to go. They are equivalent to measuring cups and we do have like a cheat sheet in the um, unit section. So they can just use measuring cups if they want to, but it's always nice to have the color coded containers. I feel like it just makes it easy. So that is kind of container system. And then over to to be mindset. This is more of an internal control. And this is really about your mindset. If anyone is struggling with emotional eating, I highly recommend that you suggest the to be mindset to them. If you have not tried the to be mindset, I suggest you try the to be mindset as well so that you know the difference between the container system and the to be mindset. Again, you can add on any of these to a uh, challenge pack and you get a discounted price on them as well. So the to be mindset is more of a plated method. Um, they have images where you really just look at your plate and you determine what you're eating based on a visualization of how you break down your food on your plate. Um, this is more of like volume eating. So if you, if you are somebody who needs a lot of food, you can eat a lot of food on this plan. You're not as restricted, but it's certain types of food. 
Um, and there's a model that she shares about that. So this one is really, again, more of the mindset, emotional eating, and fortune fix is more, more structured. And sometimes people need that structure and specific guidelines. This is about the to be mindset. Um, so it just it breaks it down a little bit more. Again, you can share this image with anybody. And both of them come with a certification course. So if anyone is looking to be certified in either of these programs, you can get that certification through Beachbody, um, which is always really great to have as well when you're when you're speaking to your clients to say that you are certified. You're certified to be, I'm certified ultimate portion fix. I love ultimate portion fix. Um, but to be mindset is definitely my jam, my jam. Okay. I'm just going to stop the share here. I'm going to answer any questions. Um, Tara had to go. Okay. Do you guys have any questions on those? If you do, you can just unmute yourself or you can type it in the chat. I know that was like a really quick overview. Can't hear you, Danielle. You can't hear me? Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah. Okay. I was like, I'm on my laptop. It should be fine now. I think my volume was low. Um, when it comes to focused energy boost versus energize, I know you said energize is more of a performance enhancing supplement, but you know, what is, if, if someone was to ask me or what kind of answer should I give versus like which one they should get? Like what's the, what's the real difference between the two, I guess? Okay. So, so yeah, this uh, for this yeah. one. So yeah, so um, with Energize, Energize is more of an immediate boost where the focused energy is a sustained energy. So you're going to get energy longer throughout the day where Energize is just a, a quick boost that you're going to get for your workout. In terms of ingredients, like the focused energy is grabbing its blend from a lot of mushrooms. Um, whereas you have the beta alanine in the energize and that's what's giving you that performance kick. So you're not going to have that in focused energy. That's the beta alanine is what's holding the lactic acid back, the buildup of it. And that helps you with your muscle fatigue. You don't have that in focused energy. Does that help? Yeah, that makes, that makes better sense. Okay. I know it can be confusing because it's like energy. You're like, well, energy is energy. <laughs> But yeah, it gets confusing. And that's the same thing with like Shakeology and Recover. And sometimes people are like, well, what's the difference? It's protein, but it's not. The Recover is really for muscle, where Shakeology is like overall health. And if anyone is struggling with digestive issues, like don't even worry about the workouts. Just get them on Shakeology. It is a world of a difference. Here, actually, we had a ton of issues. I say we, but he had a ton of issues, um, like to the point that we were testing for colitis and Crohn's. and Crohn's disease. And it all came down to nutrition. Like, I'm, I will not make claims that it cures or anything else, um, but to, know, to see the difference in our It's also not our a bodies, either, though. I mean, we're not... I mean, immune. legally not saying that it, it's doing that, but I mean, yeah. it, there's so much good nutrition in it that when your nutrition is on par and, and your body is getting what it's supposed to, your body is an incredible machine and it can do a lot of things and it can fix you from the inside out. Yeah. Like you and just got to get yourself the right nutrition. Yeah. It definitely helped with me, with my immune system. Um, for me, like I am someone who gets strep throat all the time ear infections all the time as an adult it's like the strangest thing um but i will knock on all the wood I'm right now say, don't say it <laughs> <laughs> um for me i've just found that it's really helped with my immune system and one not that i never get sick but my recovery time no but you would get strep four times a year yeah like it was anymore. bad and I don't anymore. And I totally bring it down to nutrition. It's not just Shakeology. It's definitely everything kind of combined, but it is, it has helped our health. Like it's just come through the roof. Yeah. So I remember at my very first Super Saturday, someone had referenced Shakeology versus protein shakes. How it's yeah. a misconception. And I remember, I feel like I'm going to say it wrong, but they said that Shakeology is like a salad and the crouton on the salad is like the protein shake. 
Like there's so much more to it than just the protein. Yeah, absolutely. Protein is like, it's one fifth of what you're actually getting in Shakeology. Shakeology is way more than a protein shake. And the thing is, is with Shakeology, sure, people could eat all of that food and they could have all the salads and get all the nutrients that they need. It, reality is we don't. Mm -hmm. We don't get The average person doesn't get nearly half of the nutrients or vitamins they need an entire day. That's why we have all these illnesses. But it's like with the shake, it's just it's all there and it's convenient. It's easy. And you're getting a lot of what you need in your daily dose in one shake. Yeah, like, for sure. It's simple. It just it took something that 90% of the population struggles with and made it easy. Yeah. Does anyone have any other questions? Was that helpful? The breakdown of everything? Okay, does anyone have any other questions on it? Chuck? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Yep. No? There you go. I was gonna scream really loud. No. <laughs> I just always have a lot of people always asking like the ingredients and I think I sent one to Jer by accident. I just sent like a picture of the bag because it so shows you like the the berries and all that stuff. Is that yeah, kind yeah. of there? And I, I know on the website you can go to the ingredients, but it doesn't really give you like um, a specs. You know what I'm saying? Like, is there anywhere else I can go to get that? No. Or do I just say it's just these, it's, it's so pure that it's those ingredients and that's why there's no specs. I have an actual voice recording from Isabel Deichler. That was going to be my comment when you're like, I already said it. Oh, I thought it was something different. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> it's still thunder. thunder. It's still thunder. <laughs> um, we asked this question actually probably like a month ago, yeah. maybe. I was going to ask um, them if, they saw, if we shared the video with them. If we what? Because I thought we shared it on our team page, didn't we? No. no. Um, we asked this question about a month ago, and because everyone wants to break down what's the calories, what's the fiber, what's like they want that nutritional yeah. label, right? Yeah. Um, and we asked, and Isabel like physically responded back in the voice note, and it made so much sense. I was like, oh, okay, this is great. She said the ingredients are so pure that are put into Shakeology that it's like going to the grocery store and asking for a nutritional label on carrots. You're not gonna get it. Like there's no nutritional labels on your fruit and your veggies because okay. they're pure and it's, it's a banana, it's an apple. It's, yeah. And that's what's going into the shake. So she's like, it doesn't exist. Like it's, it just doesn't exist because it's, it's just so pure. Yeah. So I'll, sh I can share the exact recording of like how she worded it. Um, she's much more scientific than I am than just, it doesn't exist, but <laughs> she just broke it down. Really. It just made sense to me when she was like, you don't go into a grocery store and ask what the nutritional value is on carrot or lettuce or mushroom. Like you just, yeah. you accept it that it is a whole food. And those are the ingredients that are, are going into the shake, which Made me feel really great yeah. because I was like, if that's what they're using as the ingredients in Shakeology, like that's what I'm all about. And the benefit, the benefit for all. Can we just talk all, about Hank for a second? <laughs> <laughs> the benefit for all of us is that um, that Beachbody partnered with the UK, and oh. their standards um, with their nutrition is substantially higher than ours. So that when they when they partnered with the UK, they had to reformulate. The shakeology so that it would pass their standards yeah um so i mean that's a benefit to us is that they just made the product better because we partnered with the uk um because two-thirds of the proteins that are on our shelves in our gnc and stuff like that will not pass the uk standards um so the benefit of that is that, you know we just get a greater product now because we have to abide by these higher standards yeah for sure you got some other questions I think we're good. Okay, so I'm gonna share all these images for you guys. Um, so you have them if you want to reference them ever or send them to people for information. If anyone's ever looking for information, you can email these over to people. Um, it's just a really great way to use it as a third party tool. Don't try and explain all of this to people. That is my number one thing. If anyone is asking questions about it, use these as a tool. 
if you are looking to duplicate and you want to build a team, which is the whole purpose, um, you need people feel like they need to know what you know. And if they feel like they have to know all of this stuff about all of these products, it becomes really overwhelming and they just stop right away. So use this as a tool and help them to understand that you don't have to know these ingredients. You guys, I could not do this without a slideshow and tell you exactly what's in everything. I couldn't tell you one ingredient in Shakeology. Well, you should know at least okay. one ingredient. I, all I know is that <laughs> when I drink it, I feel good. I don't, I don't care about anything else. I don't care what's in it. And that, it, like, it doesn't come down to the ingredients, right? Yeah. It's how it makes you feel. So sharing that and then using these as your third party tools, it, it creates all the success when you're talking about duplication. So other people can feel like, oh, you just, you share this image. So other people understand that, but you share how you feel and how it makes you feel. I wanted to share this with all of you guys though, because I feel like sometimes we get confused on what, what, and some of that information about how it makes you feel or what it does for you is more important than the actual ingredient list. But a lot of the times we get hung up on the ingredient list, even though you will go to any fast restaurant, fast food restaurant, and just order whatever. We don't care what's in it. We're just going to order it. But when it comes down to something like Shakeology, they want to know exactly the breakdown of how it's made and what's inside of it. So hopefully that gives you guys a little bit more um, confidence when you're speaking to some of these um, products. And that when you are sharing or you have a share cart go out, that you're having conversations with people that can trigger, you're asking those questions about their energy levels, about their digestive health, you know, about how much, how their nutrition actually is like, what is your diet like? Do they need the um, power greens? Like, what are some of the things that you could suggest that are only going to help them? And you can add some of those into the share cart saying, these would be my top two products that I would suggest you can pick one of the two, you can add both of them, whatever it is, right? Have that conversation with them, but adding them into the share cart, just, it helps them in the, at the end of the day. And so. I think, I think our conversations have to be more than just about a workout plan because um, I, I've said it a ton of times is that um, if their nutrition is on, isn't on point or it's not relatively clean, um, they're not going to get the results that they're anticipating with just the workout, which is going to then they're going to come back to us and say, Hey, this workout doesn't work. Well, right. it does, it does work like fitness and nutrition. If you follow any one of the workout programs and any one of the meal plans it works, you have to, you have to follow it. Your nutrition has to be good and your workouts have to be good. Um, because if they're just trying to work out and still eating like crap, um, they're not going to see the results they want to see. And it's only going to come back on us as coaches. I love that. And if they don't like shakes, do smoothie bowls. Like cheese, so great at. Um, okay, I'm gonna stop the recording.